So in last week's video, we talked about top home technology trends for the new year. One of those was cutting the cord or using streaming more instead of cable and satellite. And that's one question I get a lot as a home technology expert is, how do I cut the cord? What, how do I do this whole streaming thing? You know, I'm paying a ton of money to a cable company or a satellite company, and I just don't know what to do. I don't know what's the big deal about and why, why should I even be interested in it? So today I wanna to answer those questions. Um, Something that the pandemic really accelerated in the last year is streaming. So it used to be that all the content you would want to watch, all the TV shows and all the movies were on cable or satellite. And some of them were on streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. But now all those companies that make the TV shows and the movies that we love to watch are shifting their priorities and their money and their focus onto streaming. So you have blockbuster movies coming out the same day in a theater as it's being released online to stream. So you can go to the theater and watch it, or you can stay at home with your family and sit on your couch and watch it. So streaming isn't going away. It's only something that's gonna be more and more prevalent as we move forward into the future. And most people now that I see moving into new homes or building a new home are not getting cable or satellite. Some people do, but not everybody. I haven't had cable or satellite in several years now. I do everything streaming and I love it. And these are, these are the reasons why. Uh, number one, any TV shows or any movies that you want to watch, you can watch on streaming services. You don't have to have a cable subscription to be able to watch your local news or local sports or anything like that. And in some cases, these companies are putting more money into producing content that is actually better on streaming services. Companies like Netflix and Apple are producing content that you can't watch on cable or satellite. You have to subscribe to one of their services to be able to get their shows and their movies. And so you see content that you can't even get anymore on cable or satellite. So there are a lot of reasons to switch to a streaming platform and be able to watch all of your content in addition to local news and things like that on a streaming service. In addition, everything is available on demand when you want to watch it. So whenever you're ready to watch your show, you don't have to wait for Tuesday at 8 p.m. to come around. You can get on the couch and turn on the show that you want to watch when you want to watch it and pause it and go do something else and come back to it later on a different device even. And that's the other advantage of streaming is you can watch your subscription to Netflix or your live TV on any device, on your TV in the bedroom, on the TV in the living room. If you have a second home, you can subscribe and log in to the same account on TVs in your vacation home as TVs in your main home. So you don't have to have multiple cable subscriptions or things like that to be able to just watch TV wherever you go. You can take your iPad or you can go on a streaming device at any place you visit and log in and watch your shows and your movies. So that's a really big benefit. So how do you do this? How do you cut the cord and do streaming? You just need two things. One is a device that streams, and the other is a subscription to at least one streaming service. So as far as the devices go, there are a lot of them out there, and most smart TVs nowadays, which is almost any TV that came out in the last few years, most of those have the apps for things like Netflix built into them, and you'll probably already know that and probably already use those things. Um, but if the TV that you have doesn't have the services that you want to watch on it, you can get a third-party device like an Apple TV or a Roku, and there, there are plenty others. Those are the two that I see most popular. The Apple one is my favorite one. That's what I use in my home, and I can get all my apps and things on it. But you just need a device like that, and you can log into Netflix or Hulu or any service that you want and watch it. The other thing you need is a subscription to a streaming service. Things like Netflix are great for movies and TV shows, but if you want to be able to watch live TV or have more of a traditional TV experience where you can browse a guide and watch your local news and things like that, then you should sign up for something like Hulu Live or YouTube TV. Um, there, there are plenty, even your cable company or satellite companies like DirecTV, now they offer streaming only options where you don't even have to have any cable boxes. You can just sign up with Spectrum or whoever you have as a cable provider and you can use the app on your TV or on your streaming device, and you don't even have to have cable boxes on every TV in your house. And you can browse the guide and watch whatever channels you wanna watch. So those are the only two things that you need is a streaming device and a streaming subscription. Most streaming subscriptions also, they'll let you have a trial for a week or a month for free. So you can try different ones to see which one is best for you because maybe one service has this, the channels that you wanna watch at a lower cost than something else. So I'd recommend trying one or two of them just to see which one you like best and which one you find has the content that you want to watch and is easy to use in your experience. And a note to you, if you're building a new home or about to build a new home, um, work with a local technology provider 
to wire your home accordingly because even though Wi-Fi is pretty good nowadays, it's pretty fast, it's pretty reliable, if you're building a home and you have the ability to run wires to the streaming devices that you have for your primary watching areas like you know, great room or family room or a theater, then it's best in those scenarios, if you can, to run wiring so that those devices are hardwired into your internet. They're not dependent on Wi-Fi, just to make sure you have the best streaming experience possible. So that's something to think about. So just to recap, to cut the cord and try out streaming, all you need to do is get a streaming device like an Apple TV or a Roku and try out a couple of different streaming services, things like Netflix or for live TV, Hulu Live or YouTube TV. And there are others out there. You can ask your friends and family um, which ones they like best. But the key is just to find the one that works best for you.